ora, ko Stephanie Tuka Ingua Heidi Mai. Welcome to Adaptive Go. Do you have lots of questions that you want to ask your specialist but got too many to think about how to organize your appointment? Or do you walk out of your appointment feeling dismayed or disgruntled or upset with how you responded to some of his questions? Well, that's how I feel and hopefully this vid will help you feel a little bit more empowered. But before we get on to the big stuff, just wanted to have a little shout out to um, charities like Arthritis New Zealand and just talk about how much those charities um, support people like me. And if you can, please consider a donation. patients can sometimes get a little bit of a power imbalance and that can change the way our consultations proceed and also how we feel about them. A couple of weeks ago I had an um, adverse reaction to my medication and ended up in hospital and had a couple of visits to ED. Although I received really good medical care, I think um, I kind of left feeling a little dismayed and maybe a little bit upset with myself about how I'd handled the situation and I guess I kind of also felt like I needed to be calm and compliant and not look overly worried. Apparently this sort of pressure in how we feel um, about our consultations or our treatment is fairly common. I, um, I also had a new specialist and I needed to talk to him about the adverse reaction but it had also been nearly a year since I'd seen the specialist so I had lots of stuff that I needed to talk about. I had so much stuff going on in my head to get ready for the consultation that I felt like it was going to explode. <sighs> So um, I went and saw a nurse educator at Arthritis New Zealand and she provided me with a lot of help um, around getting ready for this consultation. Uh, this vid is a compilation of her advice plus some further research that I've done plus also um, my own work um, on what I wanted to do to sort of um, take control of that conversation with the specialist. So how do you feel empowered? The first thing to do is to talk to someone um, who can um, support you and give you confidence in yourself and what it is that you're going to talk to the specialist about. The second thing to think about that might um, improve the quality of the consultation is to think about your own perceptions and see whether they're clouding your judgment or causing a lack of self-confidence. So those sorts of things, only really um, someone external can sort of shed light on that. Uh, maybe your partner or someone close to you can help you with some of that stuff. Because if what you're actually feeling is lack of confidence, um, then you know you need someone to remind you that actually you're a really important part of the uh, equation when it comes to talking about your treatment with your specialist. The third thing that can make you feel a little bit more empowered ahead of your specialist appointment is to do your homework read about your condition, read about some of the questions that you're trying to work out with your condition and do your homework with thinking about your history, your, um, you know, putting it all, or putting everything on a page so that it's easier for you and your specialist to work out what your priorities are. To help you do your homework and work out what's important to you, I developed this tool. I had some ideas from the nurse educator who suggested I do a brainstorm. I found um, that this tool that I'm going to show you here on screen below, it really um, helped me both with my homework but also take control about what had been written about me that was wrong or what was, um, or maybe perhaps even give a little bit more context um, than what previous notes um, had implied. So I've put this tool on my website for you to use and there's links down below. Um, but as you can see on screen, it has my history on the left hand side um, here because this was, because I've seen a new specialist. If you're not seeing a new specialist in this place, you could put the things that have gone before or what is important for the specialist to know and remember about you. This middle section is your brainstorm and can show what's happened, changed or remained the same since your last appointment but is still causing you problems. You might use this section to report, report flares or maybe you might talk about it in terms of your ED visit or hospital visits or um, anything that you're sort of really trying to keep track of or something that's quite big and um, is taking a little bit of time for you to work through. 
This section on the right is what you need most to get out of the appointment. So my specialist said that this um, piece of me on a page was uh, really helpful um, and that he wished all his patients um, did something like this and that it would improve his um, accuracy of recording his clinical notes, um, improve the, um, the, and speed up the amount of time that it took for him to prepare all my history, um, but that also it um, filled in the gaps where things were missing from the notes or weren't fully explained. So um, all up, um, from his perspective, um, it was great. And yeah, so I did really well there. From my perspective, I think it was useful to a point, um, the specialist still has his own questions to ask and will want to take the conversation in, in a direction that works for him. So I think it's something I sort of need to practice using, um, but I definitely want to keep using this and I'm hoping that this will be really helpful um, for you in your next consultation with your specialist. And yeah, you know, drop some comments, let me know how it goes. Um, yeah, so good luck.